give me a word or phrase to describe uh, the way things are going in America today. Partisan. Okay, good. Michelle and Nicole. Uh, downhill. Downhill. Sandra. A little scary. 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 Joining me now, Peter Hart, NBC News, Wall Street Journal pollster and chairman of Hart Research. Uh, you were looking for women who could be persuaded, who were not uh, firmly gripped by either candidate. And what you found is that they're really worried about a number of things. I wanted to play a little bit of the qualities that they would like to see in President Obama. Let's watch. Karen. Uh, Bush Jr. conviction. Okay. I didn't really say because I think all of them that are still alive, powerful. Okay. Stronger conviction. Leadership. Uh, who's? Um, I was thinking of Bush Jr. Okay. Know, I didn't like the result, but strength. Clinton, his excitement and energy throughout his whole full eight years. Yeah, I think Clinton's ability to get along with people. They want to see these qualities in President Obama, and they find it lacking. They definitely do. I mean, the irony of this is Scott Walker was the person that they admired, not as an individual. They don't like a lot about his positions, but they found him a strong leader, a person who was willing to stand up and take the heat. The fascinating element of this is the two people that emerged out of this were Scott Walker and Paul Ryan, and they showed the deficiencies in each of the candidates. Obama on the leadership qualities, and Paul Ryan, they liked his personal qualities, and they thought all of those qualities were laugh and lacking in Mitt Romney. Uh, let's show what happened when you asked them what qualities would you like to see that you don't see in Mitt Romney. His relatability to the average American. Being personable. Sureness of convictions. Being more personable. Ease with people. Of course, this gets us to the whole question of uh, the Ryan pick, because what we saw was a, a little bit of magic there this weekend, and the, the, presumably they will be back together again, uh, even though they went out solo. Uh, together, they added up to more than the whole. Well, the biggest problem is that the strength of Ryan magnifies the deficiency of Romney. And the problem is they see him as a next door neighbor being Romney, as being distant. If they had to be in an HOV lane, who would they check, uh, pick? They'd all pick Obama. It is this sense that it, there's something about Romney that doesn't come across as human, warm, all of those qualities that we always look for. But on the other side, the challenge is the bad economy. And these people are hurting out there. And you talk to these women, and they're scared, they're upset, they're uncertain. And so they're working through an awful lot, and there's only 90 days to go. And with the gender gap, what about the women's issues? You asked them also about the women's issues and how they're responding. Let's watch. I get so tired of hearing about um, abortion rights. I mean, this was settled Roe v. Wade a long time ago. It's got nothing to do with politics. It's got nothing to do with religion. It's a, it's a human right of women. I think it was important for, um, for even religious institutions to include um, women's reproductive health. Okay. Okay. Good. That's just like the title acts and the family planning. I think that's an important thing, and I know certain politicians are looking to cut that. Um, so I guess that affects a lot of women. So your bottom line here uh, as to what women really care about? Oh, they care about their own lives, and uh, they're hurting, they're stressed, and it comes back around to who has the sensitivity and who understands what I'm going through, both economically and in my personal uh, life.